Hey everyone, welcome back to Full Time FM. Uh, I'm Pepe, and today we're going to be playing Hertha Berlin, and we have the Kaiser, Timo Werner, and he'll be up front with Moise Keane. Uh, on the wings, we got Gabby Goal and David Neres. Um, in midfield, Florentino Luis and Weston McKenney, who is somebody I think did he play for Hertha Berlin? Uh, let's check. No, he played for Schalke. There you go. Um, so he played for Schalke in the Bundesliga for four years. In goal, we got Semper, and across the back, Ralston, Liam Morrison getting his debut. Christopher Ayer and Greg Taylor. Liam Morrison is improved in training this season. Acceleration, agility, and anticipation 16, pace 14, heading 14, marking 13, tackling 15. Uh, he's five foot nine. That's the only problem with him. <laughs> um, but uh, Christopher Ayer just so happens to be six foot five. So <laughs> hopefully Ayer will be taking the headers uh, and taking responsibility for them. Morrison will be taking responsibility for the quick. Uh, strikers that hurt the Berlin may have and oh they got Christopher Piatek and they got Kuna uh, Dolorosun Eggestein ok so they got a few good players Pasalic I think Mario Pasalic used to be one of the youngsters at Chelsea they got a few players but this is not an impossible game for us to win we can do this Right, I have faith in you boys, get some more green power, more Hulkster, there we go, oh look at that, Moise Keane now looks happy, Timo Werner seems motivated, here we go, the lads are up for this, we've drawn one and lost one already, we do need a win. Here's Newbill, the goalkeeper. That's going to go to uh, Ralston, who sends Timo Werner through. Come on, Kaiser. Yes. 1 0 after seven minutes. Hurt to Berlin, you are put to the sword by Timo Werner, the Kaiser. Whenever goalkeeper kicks it to that wing, you know the fullback or the winger is going to get it. Good finish. We'll have a bit of that. Now, here's Weston McKenney to Timo Werner. McKenney puts one in. Neres at the back post. David Neres, second goal of the season. McKenney and Werner used to play in Germany. Bayern Munich want to take Neres to Germany. And we're beating the Germans 2-0. Good finish by David Neres. Great cross by McKenney, by the way. I actually brought him into the side over Camavinga. 2-0. I'm going to praise the players. Here's David Neres again. Ooh. Gabby Gol will get a hold of that. Sends it back out to Neres. Oh, just over the top corner. It was a good effort. Come on, lads, defend well. There's Matus Kuna being closed down as he crosses. Oh, Egerstein. Paslic, he shoots. David Neres clears it up to Timo Werner, who's fouled. Gabby Gold picks it up and carries on, though. Plays it inside. Florentino Luis scores. What an advantage played. 3-0. Oh, we played the advantage. Werner got absolutely took out of it. Watch this. Boom. Gabby goal. Goes past a sliding tackle. Cuts inside the last man. Plays it for Florentino Luis, who came in and support. 3-0. Ah, oh, come on, the boys. There you go. So get one more the goal difference will improve um, although we have played one more game than Man City and Porto but I'm kind of hoping that uh, Porto beat City here's Gabby goal 
looking for Neres, but High Sarge got there. Agustin now coming forward. He's got High Sarge out on the outside of him. Florentino Luis makes a tackle. David Neres is tackled, but then Greg Taylor wins the ball back again. Neres sends it to Gabby Gull. Christopher Ayer back out to the left hand side to David Neres. He's got Greg Taylor overlapping. Why is he running in his way? Oh. Florentino Louis switches wings to Ralston. Ralston comes forward. He's going to shoot. Or is it the post? Uh, that'll take us to half time, I think. Now we've got one more bit of action. Let's get in at 3 0, boys. Maybe 4 0. Timo Werner sends it to Neres. He's got a couple of players in the box. Gabby goal. Chase that. Give it back to Ralston. Neres to Keane. Oh, new ball saves. Let's see if we can score from the corner. Neres puts one in. Oh, we do. Florentino Luis with the header. Get in. There you go. In swinging corner. Florentino Luis comes in and beats three men in the air there. Second goal of the game and the season for him. And we've battered them. 4-0, 62% of possession, 14 shots, 7 on target. They've only had one uh, shot and it wasn't even on target and 38% of possession. Um, wow. Keep it going, lads. Well done. Wow. That should put us uh, second in the league on goal difference, but... Uh, if Man City lose, um, or even if Porto lose, Neres puts one in. It's headed away. Morrison has gone and collected that. He's very quick there, wasn't he? Greg Taylor to Florentino Luis, who finds David Neres. Oh, he smashed one. Top corner with his left foot on the far right hand side of the. 18 yard box he's moved out there and into that Gabby goal position and watch this touch hit oh beautiful David Neres you absolute beast 5-0 we are battering them here's David Neres now Comes in the box, it's a scramble. Is it a penalty? I think it was a handball on a ratty. Oh, Egerstein. Yeah, Florentino Luis for hat trick. There he is, the midfielder gets his hat trick. Florentino Luis. Six goals for Celtic against Hertha Berlin. After Egerstein handballed the ball, Hertha Berlin have fallen apart. Let's praise the lads. Neres puts a corner in. Oh, Morrison. Liam Morrison gets his first goal of the season. 7-0. Wow. Neres corner. Dropped. Taylor hit it. It got blocked by Arias. And Morrison was there. Johnny on the spot to put it home. Wow. Oh my days. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players with nine or over. 9.6 for Neres. 9.5 for Louise. Jeez. Wow. Newbold, 5.9. Stark, 4.9 for them. Wow. Oh my word. Well, might be a good day to uh, bring on a few of the younger players. Let's bring on Karamoka Dembele. He's playing the right. Um, let's bring Josip Bilic on for Timo Werner. He's at 9.2. And uh, Connor Barron. Let's bring him on for the hat trick man, Florentino Luis. 
because uh, he needs a bit of game time. Put him on for the last 15 20 minutes. Here's Ralston. For Billich. Oh, he's only been on the field a minute. Josip Billich. Fourth goal of the season for him. He's an absolute monster, this new gen. He can't stop scoring. Here he goes. Nice little ball by Ralston. In off the post. Oh. What a goal. 8-0. I honestly don't think I've ever had a win like this before. 8-0 in a European competition. Everything I've touched has turned to gold. Wow. Florentino Luis got a hat-trick. Neres got a couple. Werner got one. Liam Morrison got one. And Josip Bilic got one. Wow. 27 shots, 16 on target, 53% of possession. We battered them. Our worst player was 7.3, Adrian Semper. He didn't have anything to do. It was a bit harsh on Semper, that. Uh, <laughs> oh. Right. I think that double click then. So I think it's say well done to the players. Received 2.32 million for a win. Classy Neres on form. He did absolutely amazing for us. And um, Louise scouted by Chelsea. 33.5 million. Get knotted. Contract till 2027. It's 2022 right now. You've got no chance. Absolute knelt down. Let's see what the Man City Porto game finishes. See if we finish in second. If we finish second in the group, I'll be quite happy with that. A draw would probably be a bad result for us in that game. We need one of them to win. Yeah, City beat Porto 2 0. So, I'll put City on 6 points, um, Porto on 3 points. Um, let's go see our group um, hang on a second ah it's because they beat us 3-1 but we've got plus 6 goal difference they've got 0 that doesn't seem right to me. We should be above them. Um, see, if we drew against them, they'd still be top. So I think we need to beat Porto in the next one. No option but to beat them. We've got to play Hertha Berlin again. Which I'm no longer worried about. We've got to play Porto and City. Um, in fact, we play City twice. I am worried about that. Ah, uh, okay. Morrison set for the top following first goal. Um, when asked just how far do you think he can go, Mr. Monkey said he can go right away to the very top. No doubt about that. So Liam Morrison um, looks to have improved his dribbling because he's played in that game. He's gone from one to two. And first touch from 6 to 7, I think. Um, let's have a look at his progress. Oh, August 22nd to September 22nd, he shot up um, half a star. He's gone from. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so he's definitely improved. Okay, guys, so we got a big game against Aberdeen, and I'm going to be really, really cheeky. I'm going to play uh, Gebby, who we got from Aberdeen, Graham Gebby, the central defender, new gen. Um, Fraser Sharp, the central striker, who we got from them, and 
Connor Barron, uh, centre midfielder, right through the middle. Um, because we need to give a few players a bit of rest because we all just played that um, that Berlin game where the players won 8-0. Um, I think we're going to start picking that team a little bit more. Um, but it's good. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Uh, six, sorry, new gen players um, in the side, which is going to work really well for us, hopefully. Um, solid defence. And the midfield and the attack, that we have faith in them. And boom. More Hulks to green. So we're at Pataudry, with the flats in the background. And uh, our tenements. They say in Scotland, I've already had a shot on goal. I think Bilic up front, he deserves a start. Catalan's already picked up a yellow card. Oh, as Papetti averts the danger. Oh, God, come on, boys. Oh, no way, he just struck it from there and scored. That is shocking. Oh, that wouldn't have happened with Andre and Anna in goal. Were we even closing him down? Oh, Semper, what are you doing? Right, we're going very attacking now. So I'm to get creative. Okay, they're all inspired by that. Let's hope it works. Here we go. There's Papetti. His cross is blocked. Connor Barron gets hold of it. Oh, Ferrara! Get in! Oh, he's offside. No way. Connor Barron shot. Defender deflected it. Alessandro Ferrara ran onto it and apparently was offside. Come on, lads. Adam Murdoch picks up yellow as well as Juan Joe Catalan. One nil down at half time. This is not how we wanted the. Uh, 8 0 thrashing of Hertha Berlin to be followed up by. Paul Refrabedin. Back to Ramsey, who's going to give it to Ewan O'Connell. Murdoch intercepts that. Baron has it. Tries to play over the top for Billich. He's ran onto it. Oh, too tight of an angle to beat Joe Lewis from there. Polworth. Whippage on that. Semper makes a save. Polworth for the corner. Good header by Gebby. Well attacked. Oh, Ferrara with the foul. Saying to the referee, we're a dive. Polworth to put us in. Billich with the header out. Kalen Hines gets it, puts it back in. O'Connell with the header and Semper saves. Rezao puts one in. Oh, Gebby was nearly there. Joe Lewis took it off his head. One Joe Catalan forward for Brazil. Oh, he's tackled by Ferguson there. Was he fouled? I think he's saying he's fouled, and that's a second red, uh, second yellow, I think. Is he getting a red card? He is. Yes, get in. All right. Let's just have a think about this for a second now. Um, Murdoch. Six point five. Uh, Billich. Hmm. What I'm thinking about is maybe bringing um, 
Mikey Johnston on for Ferrara. And then... Um, maybe taking off Murdoch and going three at the back. Bringing Ewan Anderson on. So if we move Papetti into the centre there. Um, I'll put Catalan in the centre. As a central defender that will cover. Okay. And then we've got Johnston and Brazau on the wings. But I'm thinking putting Paul Ross on the wing. The new gen instead of Brazau. God. Right. Let's give him a team talk. Be passionate. I have faith in you to make a difference. They look happy. Seem motivated. So we're going for a three. Um, five three formation really. In fact, let's tell Camavinga to be a Mazella that attacks and Baron to be central midfield that attacks. Okay. Tell him to get creative. Johnston to Henderson. He crosses for Bilic. Oh, overhead kick. Oh. Oh, my word. I thought I was flying in. Yours it Billich with an overhead kick. Oh man. Let's just switch Sharp and Billich around. Oh my god. Come on, boys. One chance is all we need. Come on. Oh god damn it. How have we lost that one nil? We had 28 shots, 12 on target, 57% possession. Oh, Jesus. That Kalen Hines goal. He's not even that good. Oh. Oh, my word. Right. Well, it looks like the new, looks like the new gens just aren't quite ready at the moment. There are a few like Bilic who looks really good. Um, Fraser Sharp made his debut. Oh, went nine games without a loss. Liverpool boss Maurizio Pochettino was looking at Graham Gebby. Okay. So it looks like uh, Klopp has got the sack from there. So that's the first loss of the season. Aberdeen are in second. Uh, we lost the way to them. Rangers dropped points, drawing 0 0. So we're three points clear of Aberdeen. Um, we played eight, won seven, lost one. Plus 18 goal difference, 21 points. I just cannot believe we've lost that one. Um, let's have a look. Dunfermline. Played eight, won one, drawn one. Lost six, minus seven, plus, oh, four points. Brian Keady is still the manager. Ooh, well, let's hope that carries on. Because uh, he's lost against Rangers, Falkirk and Hamilton and Hearts and Kilmarnock in the last five games. So let's hope he's still in a job. If he's not, we're going to bring him back. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, glad to have you with us make sure you drop a like and subscribe on the channel plenty of other content for those that want to help um i have a little patreon button um on the banner of the home page uh but also in the description is linked to patreon uh it would be much appreciated i've i've honestly spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds in this last year just um setting this channel up so it would be appreciated and i would love to help so thanks very much for watching i will see you all soon take care of yourself bye now